Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. So uh, let's talk about the market. In, uh, a very, very aggressive action today. Um, I, I, I joked around at, at some point today um, that I don't think the NASDAQ 100, the Qs, uh, had a downtick. I mean, it was literally like you look up and the, the NASDAQ was just, just going up, 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 up. Uh, very, very strong tape. Again, what I liked about it kind of going back to a couple of days ago, uh, we talked about this on, on the video, uh, I think it was over the weekend. If I'm wrong, I'm, I apologize. Um, I, I like the fact that we close over this 290 area, right? The 290.58 area. Um, the, the, the one funny part about Friday's session was we closed above the range, but we put in an inverted hammer, which, which, which never, never usually happens. You usually don't get above a range and then put in an inverted hammer, which is a, a signal for a sell side. So yesterday's session was rather important. And if you look uh, at yesterday's session, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Tesla was very, very strong and Netflix was very strong, but the majority of the names kind of did absolutely nothing. So I, I wanted to give uh, the bulls the obvious benefit of the doubt today. I thought that was uh, very, very important. And again, the, the most amazing part about technical analysis, that there's nothing random about it. It really is not. Um, and when, when you, again, when you, and again, I don't care uh, what process you trade. Obviously, we, we're trading the pivots here, but it, it's just amazing. There's nothing that is random. There is nothing that is just um, comes out of left field. It's, it's just all methodical, supply to supply and demand to demand. So once we uh, once we started getting very, very aggressive uh, towards the middle of the morning, we'll talk about the pivots in a second, some r ridiculously strong moves. Uh, once we started breaking above that 192.63 area, which is the Friday's highs, we went right into supply. So again, going into tomorrow's session, you know, we're literally a stone throws away from, you know, all time highs again. And it's just amazing with all the uh, all the macro headlines with China, with Brexit, uh, impeachment, non impeachment, hate, love and everything in between earnings, lack of earnings, recession, all the stuff. Right. Uh, uh, you know, buying treasure, everything or everything put it in a blender, mix it up, put, uh, put uh, pressing play. And the next thing you know, uh, we are again, uh, just again, stone throws away. Uh, from all time highs. And, and I think the most important part is that I, I think slowly but surely, uh, I think Wall Street, just in the markets, participants in general are finally, I don't want to give, say, giving the whole trade war thing the benefit of the doubt, but they're slowly starting to get numb to the headlines. I think that's the best way of saying it. Um, and if you notice the, 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 the reaction, the jerk reactions on the headlines, hasn't been exaggerated in the last 24 hours, which is a very, very big deal. Again, uh, learning to live with um, some sort of some sort of headline, okay, some sort of headline and some sort of event is very, very important. Again, if you go back to 9-11, uh, get two years worth of, you know, terror-related terror, uh, uh, headlines, you know, possible bombing here, you know, terror alert here, and but slowly but surely, uh, by year two, the market was learning to deal with it because that was part of normal. That's exactly what I believe the market is doing right now uh, with, um, you know, with, with the cues, you know, with the cues, with the, with the indexes, with the market sentiment in general. And, and it's turning into uh, some pretty uh, aggressive action. So uh, if you look at today's day, very, very aggressive going into tomorrow. Again, I, I, I have to believe you give the bulls the benefit of the doubt uh, again. Here's the, the recent highs of 194.71. That was the June, that was the September 12 highs. If you notice today, they stopped right on supply, uh, which was 194, right? You can see it here. It was the Bollinger Band. Uh, from the macro point of view, if the Qs can just reclaim uh, this 194 level tomorrow and start building above it, uh, we should see at least a test of 94.71 and then uh, the all time highs of 95. Uh, 50s. Again, very, very, again, sometimes you don't have to overthink. And before we get into today's pivots, I even tweeted about this going into uh, after the close. There's certain days you don't need to spend a lot of time in charts. Okay. Uh, you, you don't need to get creative. The stocks that we trade every day, those are the ones that are confirming. Those are the ones that are the strongest stocks. 
Uh, and the most important thing is you don't want to you know, outsmart yourself. When something's in front of you and you get that slow pitch, underhanded uh, softball pitch, you, you try to whack it, man. You try to whack it uh, and knock it out of the park. And right now the sentiment is very strong. We are going into uh, a very, very traditional sweet spot. Again, nothing's guaranteed, but we are going into a traditional sweet spot uh, of the market. Again, you have your uh, Thanksgiving rally, uh, it's called a turkey rally, uh, the Santa Claus effect, uh, or the Santa Claus rally, the January effect, and spills over into first quarter of uh, 2020. So very, very uh, strong action. Uh, again, I I want to, I, you know, I, I feel like a broken record, but I, I want to con congratulate you know, the, all you folks, man, the guys who just kept on sitting there over and over, just either writing the puts down for all you guys who did have uh, a low cage. Just this thing is down like 45, 45 points from the McDonald's uh, headline. It was just an absolute joke. Uh, again, I can't. I feel like I'm saying the same thing every single day. The only thing that's going to save it is, is is some sort of god headline. Like you know, they you know they they saw they they they're they're giving meatless patties to you know to people in heaven. I, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know what is going to get this thing. Uh, what is it going to get this thing to go higher? Again, uh, we were literally seeing the stock go down two, three points every day. Now we're seeing it go down four or five points every day. Um, I do think the stock goes a lot lower. Uh, I do think that lockup will bring in much more aggressive sellers because more people want to get out of stock. But I do think in the next day or so, like we saw today, I, I think the sellers will, before the lockup, I think the sellers in the next 24, maybe 36 hours, I think the sellers will get tired eventually. I'm not saying they're going to take the stock up 20 points, but I think there will be an opportunity on the long side. So for all you guys who are holding a runner on BYD, uh, again, what I think is going to happen sooner or later, they're going to take the stock down, capitulate, you know, capitulate the, the buyers, any, anything, anybody left in the stock, uh, quote unquote, throw the baby out with the bathwater and then trap late shorts, take it the red to green and probably have, uh, one or two day rally. We'll see. Again, there's, obviously, there's nothing guaranteed, but again, uh, going into next year, I do believe gun to my head, the stock seat loses triple digits uh, and starts going a lot uh, lower. Again, look where the IPO was. Again, lock up uh, October the 28th, I believe, the 20th or 29th. I think um, 9.6 million shares. I could be wrong, but big, big lock up. So anyway, guys, congratulations for all you guys who continue to ride this thing down or cover today, but phenomenal job. Uh, absolutely phenomenal job. So uh, let's talk about the pivots. Uh, very, very aggressive. Um, it started off in the video, okay? Um, you had one, 190, 80, 191 needs to build for more upside. Uh, street high price target today. Um, again, the video, and you got to really like the way in the video held up through all this considering it's so much exposure to China. And again, you know, here is the, you know, here is the 190, 80, 191 area. Just, 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 just bananas, absolute bananas move. Um, APHA for you small cap lovers. I know it went up like 15 cents, not a big deal. Roku, all right? Roku, just, a, just an absolute monster. Uh, Roku and Apple News, uh, 123.40 needs to reclaim uh, recent highs, 124.04 will be a big area. Uh, again, here's Roku. Here's the 123.40s, right? Here's the 123.40s and took that out and just just went to 130. I mean, just a monster, absolute monster move. Um, it's sick, absolutely sick. We were having a little bit of a problem with our plat hosting platform. So uh, the first hour or so was from just on the Twitter feed. Uh, here's another one that ran up like, uh, you know, 15 cents or so. Uh, BYND, again, we are watching for this possible washout in the next couple of days. Uh, uh, let's see here. NVIDIA waking up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Roku, obviously, take on the way up. Uh, still bad action. Yeah, so uh, Tesla, you know, Tesla reclaimed. Like, I, I knew this. I knew they were going to take this thing higher, okay? I, it, the reason why I knew that... <laughs> I don't use the word I knew, but I, I was very comfortable. All I kept on saying was when the stock was below 256, I said, this, they're going to take this thing red to green. Yesterday was the first time. Uh, yesterday was the first time it closed over daily supply in a very, very long time. Uh, and it went red to green. Again, we talked about it. Went red to green, broke to 259, and went to uh, 260, okay, 260, which I think that will become a big line, and we'll talk about that. Uh, in a few minutes, uh, again, like I said, wake, wakes up later and yada, yada, and obviously woke up later. Big, big buyer. If you've been watching the level two, uh, and I, again, I, I encourage new traders to watch order flow, even if the hell you don't know what to looking at, right? Because if you don't even know what you're looking at, 
train your mind to watch order flow. You'll notice, especially all you guys who trade Tesla, you'll notice monster, monster buyers. They were cleaning up stock at 57, 57 and a half, 58, 58 and a half. There is a buyer in the stock. Uh, I want to see the, the range, that top of the range loop it, it get completely confirmed and you might have a run to 266. Um, uh, have like a great day. Uh, Roku, Apple, blah, blah, blah. Ridiculous. This was at 127, ridiculous. Forget about the, where it went to 133. Amazon, f fantastic job, guys. Really, really fantastic job. Uh, Amazon needs a strong build uh, at 1756. That was the rejection from 101. I said there was a shot it, it could get to. Uh, I said there was a shot it could get to 1080. Uh, there was a shot it could get to 1080. Uh, I'll show you in a second. So Amazon, uh, yeah. So here was the 56. Uh, I said there was a shot it could get to 1780. It went to uh, 1776. Big move there. Uh, again, you know, people you talk about, you know, people talk about, uh, you know, being a product of a bull market. Again, the, the greatest thing about pivots, you, you don't need, you don't need a good market. Okay, here was Apple, right? Here was here was Apple, a very very strong name. Uh, I said, hey, listen, thirty five eighty five held three times on the sixty minute. If it builds below, it could flush. I, the only reason why I said experienced traders because the market was up uh, like three hundred at a time. Uh, again, here was Apple, right? Here was the three. Here was the two thirty five. Uh, 87, 235, 87. And once it broke, it went all the way down uh, to 30, 234.80s. Again, a dollar move and a hundred, and a really, really strong tape. Uh, big, big move there uh, as well. Okay, uh, big move there as well. Uh, again, take on the way down. Use break even as a stop. Again, it's the most important part. Uh, Amazon, yeah. So here are the targets on Amazon: 1772, 1780. It almost got to 1780. Big move there on Amazon. Uh, Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's it. I mean, so, I mean, big moves. I mean, you got you had really, really strong big moves today. Um, very, very aggressive. You know, I mean, really, really aggressive. Look, if trading was like this every day, okay, you know, more people would obviously have more success because, again, not every single day do you see expand the channels of like NVIDIA, Roku, $10 a piece. You know, it just, it's not common. So, like, I've been reiterating this point for years and years and years. Make sure... Uh, if you are trading, this is a new market. This is a new discipline. This is, you know, for uh, adult traders, it's very, very important to. Uh, it's very, very important to wait for those days with expansion channels because, again, tomorrow there's nothing guaranteed. You know, we could be looking at uh, a day that Amazon trades in a two dollar range, okay, or we could have Amazon reclaim supply and go up in the thirty. We don't know, but it, but again, again, we're not in the guessing business. It's all about. Uh, it's all about confirmation. So going into tomorrow again. Uh, obviously, I am going to be buy biased until it gives me a reason not to be. Uh, and let's get into tomorrow, right? Let's get into tomorrow's day. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.